Hi, welcome back to Every Day with me, Nick. I'm Nick for whoever's new here. And um, let me first apologise for the uh, the content that hasn't been coming out recently. I've not been doing a great deal. Um, we've been having some uh, family time away, um, so that's been nice. Um, I've been dealing with some other stuff, um, one of which is the... Um, Chinese excavator which all you guys have picked up on who uh, follows the channel keenly and um, yeah I did that repair and um, yeah it did it did uh, annoy some people <laughs> and um, we had a little bit of a <clears throat> tennis match with with um, who do you call it with YouTube and the Chinese manufacturer sort of thing so we took that so it's it's down it's took down to um it's been took down and i will do an update video once it's um once all the uh information and you know con terms and conditions and everything else are ironed out not with youtube but with the chinese manufacturer of the excavator so today we're on the mill and uh from the last time that I did a video on the sawmill. I think it's uh, there's a couple of things that have changed. Um, first of all, the weeds have just grown out of control. Just everywhere's just weeded up. I mean, the field does need cutting, so I need, I'm going to get the tractor on that once I've done these boards. Uh, you can see above me, I've got the rafters up for um, the shed. So we just need to order tin, which is a, more than my mortgage. <laughs> so even in, I, I was watching sawing with Sandy the other day, and he was um, he was saying it, 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 it took out another mortgage just for the tin for his uh, extension build on his sawmill shed. Yeah, it's the same over here, Sandy. It's uh, <laughs> it's it's colossal. Um, I made a bit of a mistake when I built this this structure around it. I thought I had made it 3.6 meters, which equates to 12 foot in old money, um, which would which is 12 foot a, a quite a common um, quite a common size, and it, they're readily available and not too badly priced either. Uh, I think a, a 12 foot's around about a 28 pound. A, a sheet so that's not too bad so i need 10 so it was only going to be 280 but um these are 4.2 well actually 4.1 so i might have to, i might just have to get the four meters if i want 4.2 they're going to charge me extra because they have to cut it at an oddball size so i might just get the four i'll get the four meter length and what am i doing <laughs> four meter length I'll just t take um, 100 mil off the the longer end of the overhang. I've left 300 and something mil over overhanging out outside of there, <clears throat> as you can see. So that's just to allow it not to fall straight down. I've left 150 on this end, so that that'll just stop it from falling straight onto the wood as well. I would. I was going to add more. I was going to add another 300 onto that side as well, but no, sir. So I think they're just under 500 quid, just under 500 pounds. So it's not. It's not a great deal for how what it is, but roofing's just crazy. So anyway, that's what's happening with the shed. Um, there's a couple of rafters left to do at this end because with this hut being in here which obviously the uh, sawmills temporarily living under um i put the rafters up mistakenly and, and uh, luckily only screwed them and i can't get the rest of the rafters under the, on there so um yeah so we we'll just have to drag that out when it's ready and then you know what i might do is put some temporary covers at this end so the milk and steam maybe is down here until it's till I, so i can drag that out and tin it because it's going to be a couple, you know, by the time it's delivered and whatnot. Anyway, so that's that. I've got this crazy odd shaped log on with a big butt. She got a lot of junk in the trunk, as this one. And, um, oi, 
didn't realise you turned into horses eating grass. Um, so I just need to go get the chainsaw and whip this top section off because I stupidly had the mill down this end and it should have been up that end. Won't have that problem when this shed's built because I have m uh, room to move around whereas that shed's practically the same size as the mill <laughs> in width terms. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what's happening. So yeah, we're just getting some boards out of this I think. Get some boards out of this monster butt end log and um, yeah get some boards out get some uh, I need to find I've got some ends of the logs what I've chopped off in in the past and I need some at uh, one that's at 1200 long because I need some 3b3s so it's a bit of an odd one I don't really cut I don't want to cut them all out of this but so that's that's today's today's journey you see you see the Argo there, and there's a rat. <laughs> I can see it coming backwards and forwards. There it is. Right, just in, I'll zoom in on that. Right, let's go get the gun. <laughs> it's backwards and forwards. Look, <laughs> we're gonna get that one. There you go, it's back again. Look, and it's gone again. So, uh, we'll be fine. We'll get it. So, guys, let's get out cracking. Because I've wobbled on for nearly seven minutes again. I just do that. I'm sorry, guys. I've missed you. What have you been up to anyway? Leave it down in the comments. See what, what you have all been up to. And, um, you know, how it's been. How is it been hot? Has it been cold? You know, it's, it's been crazy over here in the last, uh, last few weeks. So, yeah. Let me know what's going on with you guys. Hope you're all okay. Let's get cracking.
guys, about to change the blade again. I um, I went through a log stop, log rest, back stop, whatever you want to call them. So don't ever ever think if you own a mill that you're never going to do it because you will unless you have some fancy dancy limit type of thing that doesn't uh, doesn't let you get that far but trust me you'll hit them Go again. Hi guys and welcome back to day two on the mill it's actually day two on the video but it's actually about a week <laughs> about a week later um I, I did that and then i didn't do any more oh i forgot to do a closing anyway yeah that's what happened so i've just so we're back up mill all right with, with woodland uh, no oh no 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 we're here with the front Frontier sawmill, 
the OS 27. Now I'm surmising, I'm surmising that the 23, the 27 and the 31 are going to be all the same when I talk about this in a second. And that is the belt, the belts, right? Now, I've, in a previous video, uh, I had to replace the drive belt, right? Which isn't an issue, belts break, I know that, right? So I've got a spare, I've got two, one's a spare, one's, one's on the mill. So anyway, I've just been running it there. I've got I've got a long log on. I've got 4.9 meter log on here, right? So there it is. And um, cutting away. Oh my god, it didn't sound right. Ooh. Chugging, fucking doing all sorts. So I was like, oh, sounds like the belt. Sure enough, belts belt parts are starting to come through. So the belt is ripping. So I had a, had a look underneath. Sure enough. We've got some good old chunks out. Here's a part. Look, here's a part of the belt. So, never mind. There'd be some more in here, I'm sure. It's fragments all over. So I'm thinking, why is that doing that? But as I was cutting there, <clears throat> I always keep an eye on my guides. I always keep an eye to see what the guides are doing, because guides, them guides, tell you a story. Whether they're working or not, if they're on the bearings, it means that obviously the blades getting pushed back. Well, I've just noticed there that that, black, that band is not riding <coughs> on the blade. No, that band is not riding on the back of the bearing. So what I've just done there is I've loosened this grub screw off. It holds it in place. And I tell you what, I was about easily 10 mil, maybe more, off that back bearing. Back bearing, I don't know if you can see that spinning around there. And I think it calls for about a mil of clearance on the back or two mil of clearance on the back so what i'm thinking is happening there is when when this is getting pushed back it's getting pushed back on here and it's starting that's what that's where the problems are coming from so what i'm going to do is reset these guides up because i have neglected these guides for the last few times and we're going to see just how that affects it uh, the guide blocks could deal with uh, reset uh, being reset, so we're going to do that. Um, that one's actually quite. That one's quite close to the top. That one's not too bad, but the, the, it's the one that's underneath um, that's quite far off it. But I don't know. Maybe I should have more off top. I don't know. So we're making this up. We aren't making this up. We're just we're professionals, just not yet at the professional level. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do here, look. Let's see if I can get you set up. Ta -da. Thank you. Hello, can you see me? There, so we're working. I need to turn my notifications off. Uh, oh, sawmill there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to uh, set this. Oh, slack. That's it, right there. And because this is on a squared shaft type thing, when you tighten that grub screw up, the grub screw only goes to where it's happy with on on that uh, on that shaft. So that's nice and tight. Make sure back one's tight, which it is. Very good. Um, yeah, it's a bit. It is. It is holding it down, like, but it might be all right. So that's now got about a mil. Just over a mil clearance at the back of that. That one has got... <coughs> ah, thistle there. Uh, what's this one got? That's got a little less, so we'll... Uh, loosen that one off. I'll have to replace this, this one. Unless this is not very... Right, so hopefully we might get just a little bit more life out of that blade so it can uh, so we can actually get our money's worth out of it but i have a feeling out of this log we're gonna have to replace it because it's gonna 
break on me. <sighs> Never mind. So, um, that's, a, that's a scroll that's coming low, so good job of seeing that. Let's just tighten that up. Whoop. Ah, you bugger. That's actually come. Right, now we're up, we're up low now. That's going in or not. Looks like it's pushing down. Yeah, it's pushing down. It's come out of it all somewhere. Motion detected at your Unless that's door. my stopper. I don't know. Right, so. What, what, what was I saying? Also, I want to say well done to Jerry uh, from Bigelow Woodcraft. He's uh, he's reached the one that he's re reached over the one thousand uh, subscriber mark now. So, I'm I'm well well happy for him. So yeah, well done, Jerry. I also want to give a shout out to Andy Dudley, which I've done that many a time on this on this channel. But Andy sent me uh, two replacement bolts. They're in the van. For the bearing, uh, I, I think I mentioned it on one of my other videos. Uh, I mentioned it that the, the bearing had failed, which bearings will when it's exposed to water and everything. But the the uh, bolts that hold it in were uh, cracked. Um, so he sent me two of them. So thank you, um, Andy. And also, don't forget, guys, that uh, we are at the um, show. I'm at the show. Um, Oh, what's it called? Hold on. To do a bit of power of editing here in a second. APF show? APF, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, it's the uh, APF forestry show. Um, uh, don't forget, that's it. That's it, Warwickshire. So that's on the uh, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th of September. So if you're in the UK, come or if you're from abroad and you see these videos, come and see me on the... Um, Norwood and Frontier Sawmill, or uh, where the Norwood and Frontier Sawmills are, which will be under, I'm assuming, um, Global Recycling Solutions. Um, so yeah, let's uh, <coughs> shut up. So yeah, let's have it. Come see me. I'm gonna go see all the amazing gear that's for sale that I can't afford. <laughs> Right, let's uh, let's get back to it, and hopefully that fix will have uh, solved our problems.
Right, guys, we just had a belt break on. Well, a load of belt just just come off, and it's um, it's took the little belt off the off the idler wheel, and uh, just fucking took just took the belt off. Sorry for my French. Um, teeth are missing and everything, so that blade's done for. So I'm just gonna raise helping me uh, just uh, lift the board up, and we're just gonna pull that band out, and should be all right then. <coughs> So there we go, missing teeth. Don't know if you can make that out or not. See that missing teeth. A good few of them as well. I don't think that'll be worth bringing back from the dead. Like 30, 32 mil wide, so by the time you end up getting the gullet back in and everything, you, I mean, that's all. I mean, that's like seven mil deep, six mil, uh, five mil, sorry, five mil deep. So by the time I take five off, that's gonna, it's not gonna be worth doing. Oh well, that's that blade. <laughs> Knackered. Just put a, just put the bugger on and I'll. Never mind. It is where it is. Um, so yeah, I'll go get some tools, get the drive belt uh, redone. Yeah, somewhere over there, because that, that that belt has completely had it now. I didn't think I was pushing that hard. I didn't think I was pushing hard at all. But right, get it done. Alright guys, I just want to conclude this video because it's going to be far too long probably. Um, <clears throat> whilst I was fixing, well, I just finished fixing, don't know if you can see in the background, hold on, let me move you a little bit. This bloody leg, the tripod's knackered. Oh. Anyway, you'll have to be on a wonk. Right, in background there, there's um, a local tree surgeon, <coughs> he um, phoned me up, he said, I'm taking down a sycamore tree, do you want it? I was like, what do I do with a sycamore? Yeah, okay. Do you want, do you want? So that was Wednesday when he called me. It's Friday today on, on this video. God knows when the video will come out. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, he's just dropped it off. The butt end is rather large. It's 32 inches at the, the, at the butt. So there's no chance it's going on this mill. So I'll have to do some uh, chainsaw milling before we can uh, <clears throat> we can get that on. Um, where else is a the largest? The, 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 yeah, it's thirty-two inches, just 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 under eight foot long. So the guy say it weighs about one and a half, one point six ton. My tractor can't lift that, so I don't know quite yet just how we're gonna maneuver it but there's plenty of firewood in in there as well which is nice so that's that these bits here i've got a four inch piece there that needs cutting down into uh, four befores 
and then the piece that's left on the mill obviously is what I, what I bust what I broke <coughs> with the drive belt it's proper done a number on it so and it, and it ruined that blade as well didn't it so I think I'm more bo I'm more frustrated at myself that I should have just changed the uh, the the belt ah but there's like 30 quid down the drain so it happens it happens so now I've only got 19 blades left in the arsenal and even one of them blades is um <laughs> it I, I went I did a bobo and left it unattended and when I come back to it it it, it uh it had um, sort of like stopped going round and then ground one of my teeth, tooth down, teeth down. So I was like, Grr. so I've kind of got 18 blades, but I think we might be able to get that one back. <clears throat> but like I say, the next the next purchase is going to be the uh, tooth setter because I don't really want to be sharpening these any these uh, woodland mill. Don't want to be sharpening these Ripper 37 blades anymore without setting the teeth. So, yeah, I've only had one sharpen on them, but I think that's enough. Um, but yeah, that's about it, really. Um, yeah, I've just detected at your front door. just found one of the fly these flies. I'm not sure what they are, but the the bite. And let me tell you, they leave a bite mark behind when when they're uh, when it comes up. Pretty awful things they are. They're not mosquitoes. They're not midges. I don't know what they are, but bloody hell, they hurt. So anyway, I've got to wrap this up. It's been a long video now. It's over over two days. I met multiple days, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one, uh, which will be running this um, just to finish this finish this off and um finish that off uh and hopefully we want to try and get this uh get this roof uh get this roof done and get it sided in get it, get it done because uh oh and get all this have you seen the pile i've got here hope you're going down look at the pile of oh, oh. this oh, i tell you what i think this is about to go in bin this tripod but yeah, look at all that there, all that, it needs all processing now, so, but that's going to be another day's job, when it, preferably when it's raining, <laughs> when nobody can complain about me. So guys, appreciate your uh, support as always, and uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time, thanks very much, bye for now.